Vieira, the Vieira's oh, oh. hanging in the balance. We've just got the five minute warning and these could be the crucial minutes. I can see Robert Walls agonizing over this judgment tonight. A couple of particularly worthy contenders. Now there was some high contact there on Stoke, surely. Look at the arm around the neck. Why are they not paid? Why are so many minor infringements paid for various things? And, and yet the rule which says any contact above the shoulder is prohibited contact just goes ignored. Jimmy Bartell having a forgettable one. Chinsky to Chapman. Corey sitting it up in hope, but uh, gee, every time there's been one tall Geelong forward and about four big Brisbane defenders. Donald to Sherman. Brisbane leading Geelong by 49 points. Geelong will lose their fifth game in their last 60 encounters. Two of them lost by just a kick. Last week's game and the Port Adelaide match in late 2007. And there have been a couple of uh, heavier defeats and this one will certainly go into that category. Sherman to Merritt to Power. And now Patful in space. Hutto, it's over to you. For another attack. Aimed at Daniel Bradshaw. Gilly's getting some experience on him now. Might as well. There's Austin back up and running, which is great. That's mark number 15. Jonathan, Jonathan. Four goals, two for Jonathan Brown. He's got beyond the 50 for the year. 51 now. Marks inside 50 for the game are 28 to 11. There's a hefty total for the Lions. Star studded forward line. And Jonathan Brown is the biggest star of all, even when he misses. As he did then, I note, belatedly. The margin is an even 50. Four goals, three to Brown. And a dominant presence up forward. His gamble. His kickings let him down in front of goal. Harley to Simon Hogan, who postponed his medical studies to pursue his AFL career. And he kicks a very good goal there for the Cats. The doctor ordered him. The AFL official crowd attendance for tonight's game is 34,274. The Brisbane Lions and the Gatherer Line patrons in the centre area will be fenced off after the match and will be allowed access to the field once the second siren has sounded. We hope you enjoy the Bovine Entertainment Quarter. Not sure if you'd say Hogan was the hero there, Wellesley, but he kicked the goal. That's what's to come for Geelong. Melbourne at home. And then Hawthorne. Adelaide. That'll be a big game. It'll be, uh, that'll be a so great contest for Adelaide because uh, I think it's seven wins in a row, Adelaide tonight. Let's see if they get home against Fremantle. Here goes Sherman for Brisbane, and uh, they're pressing it to the end. Daniel Rich once more. I don't think Michael Vossel liked the proud look away handball. Hogan, who kicked the last goal. It's not so good. Mumford stranded under it. Easy for Merritt. McDonald, Patful. And uh, the Brisbane defence having a picnic in this last quarter. Here's Daniel Rich again. He's in the 30s. That was number 32. And his disposal of the ball is impeccable. Proud gets uh, a chance for some redemption. That's a poor kick. A look away kick. Taylor, Corey. And Machinsky showing his usual dash off half back. Stokes to gamble. Mooney contained by Patful. 
Well done, Collier. Be, Robust be, defender. Be careful, Cam Mooney. And now McDonald. Back to the middle. Corey to try and spoil it. Try to try and spoil it. But Notting. He's had it up and down season, been in and out of the side. Chris Catelli really didn't make it easy. Wojcicki gets a nice little ride late in the night. Oh, Stokes almost fell over. Mooney still digging hard. He's presented well, Cam Mooney. He's tried all night. Into the pocket for Gamble. It'd be nice to see this fella kick a goal. He's had some easy shots that he's blown. He might be a bit nervous about it by now. He must know that he needs to just have the shot here and just try and land it. Here's Cam Mooney just uh, roughing up a little bit of the opposition. Right in front of the sticks continues. Brian Gamble, one goal, two. And they get another miss completely. John McDonald's enjoyed himself tonight. 31 disposals. So is Daniel Rich, 32. And that's all it will be as the siren sounds. An unfamiliar feeling for the Cats, but the Lions with a big 43-point victory.